Hello everybody. Having shown um, the Kershaw box and the Eden knife box as a bit of a teaser, I'm now going to review a completely different knife. Why? Well partly because I'm just feeling awkward, but partly because I've had this knife a while and every time I think it's time to do a review I get distracted by something else. So I need to get this review done. This Wenger Swiss Army knife I bought just around the time that they'd announced, that Victorinox had announced they were stopping making uh, Wenger branded knives. I already had a large Wenger and a little Wenger and I thought that something um, in the middle would just complete that little set before they disappeared. Now I chose this uh, after seeing Knife Techs review his and he was saying how he thought it had quite a good selection of Wenger specific tools and I had a look round and it seemed like a good option so I bought one. Okay so this is how the knife comes um, nice printed box, pretty pictures hologram there if we open the box you get the knife and a little leaflet which basically explains what all the tools are uh, although it doesn't appear to be specific to this knife, I think that's everything so I was saying that I wanted something middle sized to sit between the other two Wengers so if we compare it to this Spartan we can see it's a little bit um, shorter but it's quite a bit chunkier now also just to give you a bit of an idea we'll get it on the scales Right, so the Spartan, 59.9 grams, and the Wenger, 128.8. So, it's twice as heavy really, in effect. That could influence your decision whether you want to carry it about or not. Now this is the Evo Grip S557. They did make quite a few different models in the Evo Grip range. And Victorinox have started producing these of very similar models under the Victorinox branding. Now we're not going to go through every tool individually. Um, there's a couple I want to focus on. Uh, the corkscrew, different number of coils to the Victorinox one, so you won't get the little screwdriver up there. And the awl is just a pointy bit. There's no edge and there's no sewing eye. The main blade is a standard but Wenger blade for this size, slightly deeper belly than the Victorinox equivalent. And this is a locking blade. We've got a metal tab here to release the lock. It's a bit ugly, but it's quite effective. The 90 degree stop is 
not quite 90 degrees but it does help because when you depress the lock you still have to push past the locking mechanism so that stop is useful for safety fairly standard nail file and nail cleaner the uh, can opener bottle opener uh, can opener with big Phillips and the sorry the bottle opener with big Phillips and the can opener I prefer the Victorian Ox pattern but I have to say with this bevel um, it does make a very sharp little blade for digging out splinters or stings We've got a Phillips screwdriver, scissors, oh hang on, where have we gone? I've lost my scissors. Scissors have quite a substantial spring bar rather than the little bent wire one on Victorinox. And they also have, in one half of the scissor, there's a very tiny screw that locates in this slot. And that stops the scissors from overextending, over opening, they don't go floppy. I think that's rather good, that. Uh, we get a bit of paper. The scissors are very sharp and very nice indeed actually. I like those. Then we have uh, a multi-size spanner and pair of pliers, adjustable pliers, the pivot pin sits in a figure of eight shaped hole so that you can adjust the jaws to a larger size. There are two holes which I believe are for wire cutting. So. What we'll do next, we'll just see what the edge is like and then we'll have a play with those two tools, the pliers and the spanner. As you might expect, the factory edge is lovely, absolutely as sharp as you like. So. We'll come back in a minute with um, a little setup to test those two tools. Okay, so I've uh, rigged up a little test. Got a couple of brackets and washers um, in the vise. We've got a little nut and bolt there, and at the moment they're just um, finger tight. So we start off with the spanner. Brace the screw on the back and see what happens. Hmm. So that's tightening it up really well. But the shoulders formed by the, the rest of the knife are a bit restricting. So that that is really tight actually, that's quite good. And then to undo it. I 
That worked quite well. Not a massive range of sizes you get in there, but I would imagine 8 to 12 mil perhaps. And then the pliers, we'll do that the other way, we'll brace the nut and then just tighten the screw side. And again, that feels perfectly fine. And then for undoing, we can get in. Yep, that works a treat. Okay, so both tools were fine for little wee nut. So you can get the size of that. I think that's an 8mm. But what about bigger stuff? I think this is a 13. Clearly the pliers, uh, the, sorry, the spanner is not going to touch it. But one of the key things for me with the pliers having an adjustable jaw is that it's a clear implication that it should be able to cope with larger items. So we'll get this set up. So that's just finger tight. We'll brace it with a screwdriver. And that worked fine. We'll try undoing it. And there we are, just finger tight again. So, in terms of the size of the jaws and the grippiness, there was no problem there, but on this larger nut and bolt, you did start to feel the strain on the knife. It did start to feel a bit bendy. So I would say things up to eight or 10 millimeters, no trouble at all. But a bigger 13 or 15 millimeter nut and bolt, probably only best for occasional use. But having said that, overall, I like this. And uh, I have in the past said how Wengers aren't a patch on Victorinox. But I like this knife, it's very versatile. It is twice as heavy as the Spartan. And it was quite a bit more expensive. I think these 12 to 15 pounds. And I seem to remember possibly paying about 45 for that, but I'll have to check that. But if you don't mind the weight and the chunkiness, and you can find one, then the Wenger Evo Grip S557 could be a good choice for you. Thanks for watching.